What is up guys, it's Talent26 here and today I am bringing you my first ever FIFA 16 player review and today we're going to be reviewing 88 rated legend card Littman so as you can see he's got 82 pace, 87 shot, 83 passing, 81 dribble and 64 physical and there's 32 defending but we're not going to bother with that because he's not there to defend but as you can see he's 5 foot 11, high medium work rate, right footed, 4 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves and I've managed to pick him up for 6,000, 6,000, 670,000 coins. So in the eight games I've played with him, he scored nine goals and got four assists. And now into his in-game stats. So he's got 94 attack positioning, 86 vision, 81 acceleration, 78 agility, 72 balance, 63 jumping, 88 re reactions, 83 sprint speed, 87 stamina and only 69 strength but in game he does feel a little bit stronger than that so moving on to onto his skill um, attributes he's got 86 ball control 76 crossing 84 curve 79 dribbling and it definitely feels a lot better than that 89 finishing 79 free kick accuracy 72 heading accuracy 75 long pass then 86 long shots which is really good you can tell he's got 86 long shots it even feels a little bit better than that in game we got 87 penalties 88 short pass and 82 shot power so lads what can I say about this card well the first thing I'm going to say is that he's absolutely incredible by far the best player I've used so far on the game he's, he's just got everything he's literally the full package he's strong he can hold himself up He's great at hold up play, he's an incredible passer, extremely good at finishing, good at free kicks, although I didn't manage to score one with him. He's just, he's good in the air. He's just absolutely amazing. And as you can see by the clips, that's him playing Royce through, I think, but I'm still not used to finishing yet. So, he missed a chance, but as you can see, that little through ball there to Sergio Busquets, he's just incredible, lads. But what I like most about him is, is just his, his, his positioning and his attacking runs. He almost plays as like a third striker. He's always there when you need him. And look at this free kick. It's around 30 yards out and I hit the post. I was unlucky to not to score a free kick. I had three or four free kicks with him and hit the post twice and put one over the, the bar. But that is not him. That is me. That is me. I'm not very good at free kicks um, on FIFA 16. I, I used to be pretty good on FIFA 15, but... For some reason, it's just not happening for me this year. But he's just abs. He's, he's just. I've used. He's just amazing. I've used Hammers, Hammers Rodriguez on this game, and I thought Hammers was rubbish. And that's my opinion of him. I, I just couldn't get him into the game. But this guy, he's always there. He's always. He's always there to shoot, to pass when you need him. He's great at set pieces, as you can see there. Finding Busquets straight. And for some reason he tried to do a bicycle kick but it didn't work out luckily it fell to Sergio Ramos and then he was, he was able to put it away from him but for his um he's got like 87 penalties and as he I've scored I scored like three penalties with him and he's by far the best penalty taker I've used and as you can see from the previous clip a chip through ball which aren't really overpowered on this game but he's still able to do him because he's that good I and mean, it's a nice finish from Correa. Then this goal is just amazing. He gets played the ball through. Does the off the off the ball dribble? I forgot what it's called. Turns outside of the foot and it goes a top left. Unbelievable. And then there's another assist for Correa. He's just unbelievable. He's always there. His attacking runs is just. I can't explain how good he is. And I know most of you aren't going to be able to afford him but maybe later on in FIFA if, if you get the coins to, to, to use this guy I highly recommend you do he's absolutely phenomenal he's just I can't rate him highly enough and then the only con I can think of is he's not the fastest of players he's not that slow either but with how pace works in this game it doesn't it doesn't seem that fast but then again, he's, he's quite strong, believe it or not. Well, he's 5'11", so you'd, ex you'd expect him to be fairly strong. I mean, his balance is great. He's, he's just able to hold play up. 
he's just the perfect centre attacking midfielder. So as you can see by his clips, he's just he's just outstanding. I know I'm using all these words to describe him, but he's really he's just really that good. And so as you can see, that's a great look. He takes it around the keeper and slots it away. I don't know if he tried taking it around the keeper, and it is. I am finding it hard to take it around the keeper, but he's able to do it just because he's that good. So there's another good finish, top left, just puts it straight over the keeper from a power shot. And as you can see from clips like this, he's great at team play. He doesn't just score your goals and get your assists, he links up with other players, creates chances. He's, he's, he's just. He's the perfect player and for his long shots, his long shots, oh my god, it's the best long shot taker I've used. So, so lads, that is it. Um, for a rating out of 10, I give this guy like a 9.5, he's that good. So, that is the end of this player review. I've ho I hope you enjoyed. If you have, leave me a like, leave me a comment on if you want me to do another player review. I'm... I don't think I'm going to do these that often, but if I get really good player, I think I am going to review them. But this guy is that, is that good, I just couldn't resist. But I hope you enjoyed. Leave me a comment, leave me a like. Even subscribe if you want. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. This has been Talent26. Bye.